Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to share with everyone the government support on the measures to help enterprises reduce costs and cash outflows. In terms of income taxes, companies can now enjoy a corporate income tax rebate of 25%, kept at 15,000 for YA 2020. In addition, there is also a automatic income tax deferment for three months for FY 20, 2019. So companies um, will now be able to defer their tax payment that is due in April to June 2020 for three months, where collection will only be done in July to September 2020. There is also the accelerated capital allowance where companies are now allowed to carry back the losses for up to three immediate preceding YA. There is also an option to accelerate the write-off of plant and machinery purchase costs over two years. And lastly, the option to accelerate the deduction of expenses on renovation and refurbishment in one year. So for companies that are badly affected by COVID-19, you can also call and speak to the IRS officers so that they, can be, they are able to assess the situation on a case-by-case -case basis. Next, on the property tax rebates, for um, tourism sector and aviation sector, the rebates is 100%. And for integrated resorts like uh, MBS and RWS, the, the property rebates is offered to 60%. And the enhancement here in the resilience budget is that now there is an additional 30% uh, property tax re rebate offered to non-residential properties like offices and industrial properties. So we, we strongly urge and encourage our clients to speak directly with your landlord to ask for a rental discount. There are also rental waivers on government properties, up to three months to hawker centers and markets, up to two months to commercial tenants, and also an additional half month waiver to all uh, other non-residential tenants. This is a new um, uh, enhancement in the resilience budget as well. So for, again, for companies that requires additional help, um, we do encourage you to speak to the relevant government authorities so that they can assess the situation on a case-by-case -case basis and decide whether you, you do require additional uh, months of waiver. Uh, lastly, the government, uh, all government charges and fees will also be frozen for a year from 1st April 2020 to 31st March 2021. And no application is required. There will be no more fees or invoices from the Singapore government for this year. That's all I have. Thank you.